Greetings and welcome to Weird Wizards Wonder Workshop. Four W's in one title. Can you do any better than that? Uh, surely that is the best, uh, unless someone can somehow come up with five. Um, but uh, but that is besides the point. Here we are in my brand new Wonder Workshop. Um, if we just jump into first person perspective. There we go, first person perspective. Um, that's not a very interesting corner of the workshop, but uh, but this was a better view to uh, to open it with. So there you go, as you can see, I've got a crane out there. I've got some like work area platforms and um, and you can see a little bit of track over there. We'll come to that in the warehouse. We'll come to all of that later. That is not the focus of this episode. When I first came to build my Wonder Workshop, I decided that I needed somewhere to stay. You know, when I wasn't building, um, doing my, my weird wizard wonderful workshop building gubbins um, I would need a I would need an abode and and so I built this and here we go look we've got a little storeroom here um, little entrance lobby there's a dining room here um, for uh, for dining in when I get peckish whilst whilst you know doing all of my building and stuff upstairs we've got a little bedroom you know it's quite cozy we've got a um what is this thing called it's um, a, a fire bucket okay a simple descriptive name we've got a fire bucket here um, with a fire burning away incredibly dangerously on a wooden floor next to wooden beds chest of drawers walls etc um, very very dangerous but fortunately the gods have not seen fit to uh, to breathe life into fire in this world it's just a visual effect it doesn't even generate actual light but um, you know I'm sure they I'm sure they uh, the gods will deal with that in time um, so there we go quite a nice little house but you know at the end of the day, I'm a wizard, aren't I? I'm a wizard, Harry. I'm not a I'm not some mundane guy. I'm not even just a medieval engineer. I'm a wizard. I'm weird wizard and living in a house is for mere mortals. So I thought to myself, well, you know, you need you need a suitable abode for a wizard. And I thought, right, I'll, I'll build myself a wizard tower. Just a nice quaint little one um, to live in, you know, whilst uh, whilst whilst I'm doing my my business. Um so uh, so so yeah, I built um I built that. Uh, it's, it's not turned out quite as quaint um, and little as I had originally intended. Uh, in fact, it's ridiculous. It's, it is an impossible tower. Um, I mean, look, look at this thing. If we just activate our wizard powers um, and fly up this thing, up, 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 up it goes, all the way up. There we go. That is the peak. That is the pinnacle. Um, it even has this wonderful little sky garden um, for, uh, for the growing of all of my herbs and bits and pieces. Um, yeah, there you go. That's it. The impossible tower. Uh, and it is actually completely impossible. I mean, just let's just be clear here. Um, structural integrity is on. I'm not cheating. This isn't a structural integrity off world. I didn't build this tower with structural integrity off. This was built entirely with structural integrity turned on. Um, and I can just prove that for you by... Uh, hopefully I can prove it for you. There we go. Bam. Down it comes. Structural integrity clearly turned on. The gods... The gods are in full force, um, and yet the tower stands. How is this possible? Well, it's magic. Clearly, um, I'm a wizard. Magic is my stock in trade. If you want, if you want the details, uh, then you know a wizard never tells his secrets. No, I'm just joking. I can create stone and grass uh, and things like that. So um, there we go. Bam! Uh, abracadabra. Uh, you can create stone out of nothing. And the thing about the the structure of this world is it's not affected by uh, gravity. It's not affected by the structure and integrity system. These are effectively magic floating blocks of stone, um, and they can take an infinite amount of weight. Um, and I think you probably understand now exactly how this tower is built. Uh, just to demonstrate here, look, if I put a if I put this wall, uh, it shouldn't normally be able to just sort of like float in midair, but if I activate structural integrity, you can see it's all white. And the reason it's white is because it's supported by a ground voxel. And if it's supported by a ground voxel, then um, then it then it is it, it, it won't fall. It will never fall. It won't break under its own weight. So um, so there you go. That's that is how it's done. Uh, that is the wizard's trick. Um, and using this trick, even with a structural integrity on world, you can build pretty much anything you want as long as you build sort of like a, a voxel terrain scaffold interior or voxel terrain supports to buttress areas um, that need that need extra support now some might call this cheating and you know it kind of is cheating and and I wouldn't be at all surprised if the gods were to uh, were to punish anyone who did this by suddenly enabling structural integrity onto rain voxels or at least 
coming up with a way of checking if a terrain voxel is just sort of free floating or is providing uh, support to a structure that it wouldn't otherwise it wouldn't be able to sustain um, and I, I know for a fact they would like to implement structural integrity on terrain voxels it's just a very difficult problem whether they'll ever solve that I don't know um, well, if they don't like I said they probably could come up with a quick fix to be able to uh, to avoid this kind of thing being possible um, and I'm sure they probably will so use this technique at your own uh, at your own peril it will likely anger the gods, and at some point they will smite you and your creations for doing so. Um, but for the time being, it's a great way of creating some impossible structures. And if you're a wizard like myself, um, and you want to create a true wizard's tower, then this is probably about the only way at the moment that, that, that it would be possible. Um, great, so there you go. Do you want a little tour? Let's go inside. Only the top few stories of the wizard's tower are, uh, are currently sort of furnished. Uh, if somewhat sparsely. This is the main chamber. This is where he's kind of like, you know, he does his studying. This is my alchemical section here. What I'd really like, Keen, is uh, some books and bookcases. Um, and if not Keen, then uh, modders. I'm sure we'll add them. Got a little storage room here. Fantastic. Um, downstairs is my uh, my living chamber. My, my bed chamber, I should say. Um, there we go. Nice double bed. A little bit more spacious than the one in the house. Look, you've got a little studying table here. A um, couple of a couple of uh, fire buckets, a couple of the fire buckets um, containing fire in a bucket, uh, fire that does nothing. But uh, but even if it were to do something, nice big stone room, it's not going to have an effect in here. Um, look, a cupboard under the stairs. If you're building a building and it has stairs, you must always have a cupboard under the stairs. That is that is just a a fundamental law of building. Um, we're not going to go downstairs because there's nothing there. It's just a big empty tower. But uh, if we go up, this is not the top floor in actual fact. Um, this is the top floor that any mortal could reach, uh, although they'd actually have to fly up most of the tower. But, you know, assuming that the lower, the lower floors of the tower were fleshed out and there were stairs, this is the highest level that a, a mortal would be able to reach. Beyond this, you need to be a wizard because the only way to get to the upper section is to fly through this little access hatch here. And then we can, we can go by stairs the last bit because just in case you got tired of flying for some reason. And here we are in the, the highest reaches of the tower. Fantastic view, beautiful view. Um, that is the wild wood out there. It needs it needs a new name. If you've got a name for the wild wood, home of the barbarian hordes who may one day plague the wonder workshop, but at the moment are uh, are, are kind of passive, um, then, then by all means leave a comment. Um, I'd like a lot of the, the, the details in this... Um, in this series to be named by viewers if uh, if you're up for that here's the sky garden where i'll grow all my lovely herbs um I, i'm particularly happy with this it's a, it's a lovely little sky garden there's no rail because i'm a wizard and and i fear not dropping off because uh, because i can fly so uh, so no rail um this little tower there's nothing really in it but this was the original the first bit of tower actually not the first bit of tower that I built, but this is the only remaining part from the first bit of tower that I built. Um, I basically lopped the top off and kept it because I was particularly happy with, with the way it turned out. Um, it's actually got a few little quirks to it, and it's, it's, it, this whole thing would be extremely drafty. I mean, everything in this game would be extremely drafty because there's no doors or windows or anything, um, and and there's quite often like gaps between between things, but. Um, but you know, I'm a wizard, so let's just say I've, I've got a weather protection spell or something um, that's that's keeping it all nice. Um, so let's just have another quick fly around the tower, so you can see it in all its glory. This is the upper reaches. These uh, these circle things are a pain to to work with. They basically don't fit anything else, so you have to build out like I've done here. You have to build out from it. But actually, I think it looks pretty good. I'm I'm quite happy with the way that looks now. Originally, it was just going to be if it was possible, like you know, red slate roofs, um, straight ones on the angle there. But uh, but but I actually prefer it the way it looks like that. Although it needs a little bit of um, a little bit of fixing. Great. Okay, so let's head down the tower. Um, there's quite a lot of detailing on the outside of this tower that I'm pretty happy with, that I'm pretty pleased with. Uh, what I've tried to do is kind of emulate techniques used by the Greeks and the Romans to try and make things look taller than they actually were by tapering them towards the top. So there's lots of details here that either arrow up towards the top or that taper. So like here, like you know, we've got we've got sort of. Um, Lots of lots of use of wall sections and these pillar sections um, and, and other sorts of things like that to try and create exterior detail on what would otherwise just be a flat, featureless expanse of brick, basically. Um, and, and I think it's been pretty successful, actually. If you look at uh, if you look at the way the illusion sort of comes together, um, I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy with it. Here and there, I've used terrain voxels to kind of cover up 
ugly holes that don't seem to have any way of covering them um, except for except for this that's like the only way to cover a hole like that is with a piece of roof um, which further up I thought looked horrible actually I don't really mind it there I think it looks all right a it's close enough to the ground that I think if you use terrain voxels it might look a little bit weird um, and B they kind of it kind of reminisces it, it's kind of reminiscent for me of like little bat wings or something sticking out I don't know I don't know I like it uh, maybe it looks a little bit goofy but uh, but I like it nonetheless so there we go what do you think um it's not really weird wizard style I have to say this is kind of a lot more imposing and a lot more kind of um megalomania kind of wizard style rather than eccentric wizard style which is like what I kind of see weird wizard as um, but uh, but who knows? I mean, I guess all wizards are are inherently a little bit megalomaniac, me megalomaniacal. Is that a word? I don't know. Uh, maybe I just made it up. But but yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I, I was I really enjoyed building it. It's a fantastic tower. It's a great like piece, uh, example piece. I think for sort of you know impossible tower design. Um, but uh, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. So let me know. Do you think I should keep this tower? If so, it needs a name. So uh, so suggestions welcome. Um, if not, then I'll get rid of it and I'll replace it with a small tower. If I get rid of it, I'll probably copy it and paste it somewhere else in the world, just so that it's still there, it still exists, um, in case I ever need to uh, need to revisit it. Um, but yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, it did have a, a bottom level as well, but I've decided to cover it up with stone, which I actually think looks better than the original bottom level, which, uh, which is why it's like that. Very quickly done, though. I've not really messed around with terrain sculpting uh, very much at all yet, other than to flatten out this whole area. Um, so, uh, so yeah, there we go. That's the impossible tower. Very quickly, I'll just show you around the rest of the workshop um, because uh, because we'll be we'll be adding all sorts of cool things here. So this is the um, this is the warehouse. I had to buttress it with these stone pillars, which are fantastically useful if you're having trouble keeping things up. Uh, stone pillars are a godsend. They uh, they they cover a multitude of sins. Um, great, and we've got like these sort of like stone platform area to uh, to do most of our working. Um, we've got a little crane here, which is fully functional. If we just uh, fly up, it's it's pretty basic. If you've if you've seen other cranes that people have produced, some people have produced some amazing cranes. Uh, this this is um, this is pretty basic, but it, it it does the job. We can we can sort of raise it up and we can lower it down. There we go, fantastic. Um, it does the job, and and we'll be getting more advanced versions of that. But I just wanted to build one on my own first before I kind of looked at what anyone else had done, just to see what I could what I could produce. And that, apparently that's it. Um, we've got this for working on carts and things. Like I showed in the first impressions video, this is a good way of putting wheels and stuff on things. You need something to just sort of like raise it up off the ground, and that's what this is for. There's some walkways in case I don't want to fly. Um, I did actually construct a lot of this without flying, and then I realised I'm a wizard and I'm allowed to fly. Look at that tower. I mean, look at that tower. Oh, that's amazing. Um, if you if you did see the first impressions video, you might recognise this. This is a working version of my tracked. Uh, what did I call it? My wonderful tracked transportation system for supplying towers or something like that. Um, anyway, this one actually works. It actually does what it's supposed to do, um, and and isn't quite as as weird as the other one. If I just um, wheel it in, I don't know why I'm having trouble wheeling today. There we go. Wheel it all the way along, and uh, and there we go. Fantastic! It works brilliantly. I have plans for this. Um, future episodes. I may even dedicate a whole episode to uh, to a kind of a tracked system. I quite like to have these tracks going all around so that I can transport things, transport things around. Great. Well, I think that's it for the first episode of uh, of Weird Wizards Wonder Workshop. If you have any suggestions for wonders you want me to try and build, leave a comment below. Let me know. If you own Medieval Engineers and you have any constructions that you want me to put into my Wonder Workshop, uh, let me know in the comments below. Upload it to the Steam Workshop. Give me a link and I will take a look at it. Um, and and it may well be included in the Workshop as a permanent feature if you're amenable. If you find other things on the uh, the Steam Workshop as well, on, on that note, uh, if you find anything you think is really cool and you think I should take a look at it, um, drop me a link. I will obviously contact uh, the author, the original author, before putting it into a video. Um, but uh, but you know i think it would be i think it would be cool i'd love to show off all sorts of cool community creations in here and have this kind of like build out into like a true a true wonder 
of the medieval world. Um, so, so yeah, there we go. That's it. That's it for uh, medieval engineers, uh, weird wizards, wonder workshop. There's the tower, the impossible tower, as promised in the video description uh, and or title. Um, hopefully, hopefully you're not too upset with me um, semi cheating. I mean, using magic to uh, to create it. Uh, it would be impossible without it. So uh, that's why that's why it's the impossible tower. Um, great. Anyway, I have been weird wizard. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you later.